Hey everybody and welcome back to Pretty Black. I want to go ahead and welcome everybody back to the Pretty Committee. And if this is your first time here, please stop what you're doing. Press that subscription button. And also, while you're at it, press the notification bell so you can receive notifications when I upload new videos like this one. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We are all here to see the results of this Indian Aztec clay mask on my hair. So I did wash my hair a couple of days ago. There wasn't too much product on it, just moisturizer. So I'm just going ahead and rinse it out because we are getting ready to do a pre-rinse with apple cider vinegar and water. Hold up, almost forgot. Here are the details of all of the great things that apple cider vinegar has to offer. So it has properties that balance your scalp and hair pH levels, as well as it's an antifungal and antibacterial that helps combat scalp dryness, itchiness, and dandruff while promoting soft, shiny, and smooth hair, as well as it tames rough hair cuticles and fights split ends. So we're gonna take a cup of apple cider vinegar and a cup of water, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in this jar. I do suggest that you get one of those tip bottles. It's easier to pour, but it's okay. I'm gonna pour some of my favorite oil, Jamaican black castor oil. At this very moment, I did realize that oil and water don't mix, but it's okay. So let's just get back to the video. So what we're gonna do first, <laughs> it's super cold y'all. We're gonna pour it into the scalp and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of rub that into my scalp. I wanna get it nice and in there, pour it on my hair, braid it down and then just kind of put it out the way and let it just kind of sit in there. So I'm just gonna do this in four sections. You guys know I love to do my hair in sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process in all four sections. I don't know about y'all, but I served the best dance moves in the shower. <laughs> All right, time to rinse this out. Make sure you rinse it out well because it does not smell good. But after we rinse this out, I'm gonna go ahead and take my deep conditioner, which today we are featuring one of my top favorites, Camille Rose, the Cocoa and Mango Butter Deep Conditioning Mask. Still one of my favorites, leaves my hair super moisturized, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to switch between this and TGIN. Y'all already know I got problems, but I'm going to go ahead and use that today because that's what I have. <laughs> and we're just going to go ahead again with those four sections and same process. Time to rinse out that deep conditioner. Just a little tip, I went ahead and used my same process. I used a heating cap for about 15 minutes and I let the deep conditioner sit in there like normal. Um, just cause I was in the shower, I just hopped out, got my heating cap and just put it on and then got back in the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out. Just wanted to show you guys my hair. It's, you know, regular, it's conditioned. It feels great. The apple cider vinegar felt really cleansing to my hair. So then to do the deep conditioner felt even better. I had to slow this down because I was serving face. Do y'all see that? Yes, Drea. <laughs> All right, let's get into this Indian clay mask. If you would look to the top right corner. Um, so I'm taking the Indian clay mask. I got it off of Amazon. Of course, I will put all of the information in the description box. I'm just gonna just pour some of the powder in the glass bowl. Very important tip. With some apple cider vinegar until I get a smooth consistency like that one. And the most important thing that I've learned from this clay mask is that you need to use water as much as possible. 
Um, I'm going to let you guys know some information in a bit here, but I drenched my hair before starting to put the clay mask on, and I literally start the same process as I would do anything else. I am finger combing it, putting it through my hair. Um, same process, you guys. So section by section, four sections, and then I kind of section those four, each sections off into putting in the clay mask. Okay, y'all see that? I am loving the curls that are all just clumping together. I'm really happy right here. No problems. So I'm just going to go ahead to continue to do the same thing. But here is your pro tip. This clay mask gets hard. So if I could redo this, which I'm definitely going to do again, is I would make sure that I would drench each, each section, you guys. Like, because I only drenched my hair in the beginning before I started doing the clay mask, but I wanna keep my hair drenched the entire time, as well as put as much product on there as possible so that you can get slip while putting it on. All right, you guys, here is the clay mask. I am getting ready to go ahead and rinse it out y'all rinse this out good it's a mask it needs to be rinsed out very well okay I slowed this section down so you guys can see on the left side, which was the beginning, and the right side, which is after the clay mask, my hair is drenched. It looks great. This was one of the best things that I have done for my low porosity hair. Definitely maximum hydration. Take a look at this section right here, y'all. This is no water running on it. This is just moisture. Oh, I'm so happy even looking at it right now. So what I'm gonna do is my regular wash and go routine. Back to my four sections, y'all already knew that. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my favorite, Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. Just go ahead and put that all in the back section, make sure it's completely um, detangled, and I can go ahead and put the product on without any issues. Today, y'all, I am using Eco Styler Gel and the S Curl Jerry Curl Juice. This is my first time using this product, but I've heard great things about it. It makes your curls pop, and I am very satisfied with the amount of slip it is providing in this wash and go process. Today was a good hair day, y'all. Keep watching for these results. I'm just happy. that maximum hydration for me. I know y'all see it. <laughs> Here are your final results. You guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I 100% recommend this product. My hair has never felt so moisturized and I'm just happy. It's just shiny, it's moisturized, it's not dry, it's not frizzy, it's just great. But I wanted to go ahead 
and tell you guys, do not forget to subscribe. Do that right now. As well as if I gave you some great information in this video, give this video a big thumbs up because I will tell you right now that this hairstyle was a little lengthy in the shower. It not only took me one hour, no, not even two hours, or you know what? It took me about three and a half hours to do this entire process with recording. So be prepared to be in the house because it's a long process, but definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.